All right, so the winter build of 2022 for myself is going to be a Barth one-third scale Waco with a uh, Velosh 250 five-cylinder radial. So I just finished the unboxing of it. This is it. Lots of stuff. Hard to believe that all came in that lone box. Crazy. So I believe these are the rudder pieces. We've got some fuse pieces here. You can see a bunch of the bulkheads. Whole pile of really, really nice balsa. Wing ribs. Tons of packages of packages of wood and hardware. Comes with a really cool uh, tail wheel. And then this is the cabane system. And then you can see the landing gear. These are the upper and lower ailerons, which uh, are nice fiberglass molded pieces. I believe these, uh, I'm not sure what these are for, but I believe these are for the stabs and the rudder. gonna save a lot of time being already uh, shaped. We've got some wing tubes here. The quality of the balsa is super super nice. And then we've got a bunch of full-size plans. You can see the wings. Tons of detail on them. And despite being a European kit, there's actually English. A little bit different than the exclusive model boss stuff where you do it all in German. So there's a, an upper wing. There's the, I think that's the upper wing there. I think that's the lower wings. And there's a whole fuse detail here lots of stuff that is awesome and then a whole bunch of fiberglass parts huge huge wheel pants oh, what's this here I think this is the spline on the turtle deck. Some decent detail to it. Should be pretty easy to do all the body work on this stuff and get it all painted. Looks fairly straightforward. And this is the ring that goes behind the cowl. Really nice cowl on it. I like the rivets and the detail on it. That should be that should be really easy to to keep once I get all the glass work done and painted. And the windscreen. And then in terms of documentation, it comes with. Way to build materials here. All separated out. And I believe a lot of the packages are all, all the packages are labeled, which should correspond to this bill of materials, but I'll have to go through it here in detail. And then, this is the instruction manual. This is a this is a V3 third modified version. I'm not sure I'll have to do some research on what V2 and V1 was, but looks like I'll be starting on the fuse assembly and then 
basically building up from there. Anyways, lots of reading to do. Not very many pictures, so obviously you rely on the drawings quite a bit more. No problem. And it's in English. And it looks like the grammar is fairly decent. It's going to be a treat compared to an exclusive model, well, that's for sure. However, I absolutely love building those ones, so. So this should be super fun. And there was my first exclusive model bar right there. That was the 3.04 meter Pitts S1. I'm thinking I might end up doing that same Ford scheme on this Waco or Waco. So anyways, we'll see. I'll figure out the scheme later, but for now, Lots to start working on, and the Fiala 250 should be in in another month or two, so I can get going on this and then catch up when the motor arrives. So, thanks Vogel Sang, thanks Dr. Goats, and uh, looking forward to getting this berth going.